My art comes in many forms, drawing, makeup, and styling. Then there's the ones that relax me like painting and creating zines. I draw a lot of inspiration from all over. Growing up, I was watching cartoons and anime with my brother and cousins, sketching Pokemon characters in my backyard, reading my mom's Archie books even though she told me not to, and watching my favorite Disney princesses. I've always loved the way anime works, um, and the storyline takes you into, and the world that you just like get indulged in, and like just constantly thinking of what's happening next. By the time I got to pre-K, I decided I wanted to be an artist. Yes, at the young, young age of five, I grew up watching my cousin Adam paint amazing pieces and wanted to do the same thing, to bring life to lifeless things. I started drawing people and animals and then landscapes, blah, 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 you know how it goes. I got really into fashion around the age of 10. I had a brand, the name, the store layout for each season, events planned out for like barbecues for the neighborhood. Um, I even had patterns planned out thanks to my grandma. Uh, but that was short lived when I moved to Ontario and everyone around me was like, it's way too hard to get into the fashion industry. So I was like, fuck it, I'm not gonna do it. By the time I got to grade nine, I had an amazing art teacher and she honestly just pushed me to just create. She never gave me any boundaries and was like, this is an assignment, Katie, do what you want, which I honestly am very thankful for. Um, when it came to like fashion in high school, it was, I was a little crazy, like wearing yellow pants. I was a little crazy. Highly influenced by the dope slash Lana weekend phase nice. of Tumblr. The older kids would constantly laugh at my outfits and then come back two weeks later wearing the same thing. <sighs> Tragic. I was always known for dressing how I wanted and creating what I wanted, even if it got me into trouble, which happened to be a lot. Now I feel like I'm always creatively throwing up. I feel like my pieces are way more solid and they have direction and meaning. Of course, I still recreate Pretty Girls and that brings me happiness. But to be able to create a piece that people can connect to more than like, oh, she's pretty is where I focus my energy now.